Plutonium-239 With a half-life of 24,110 years, Plutonium-239 produces alpha radiation. Consisting of a stream of helium-4 particles, it's not even enough to penetrate a piece of paper. Plutonium-239 is used in nuclear weaponry, aka your atomic bombs, and as a source of energy in some nuclear reactors. Inside its nucleus, plutonium-239 has hundreds of particles crammed. Because it's an isotope, it has more neutrons than it should, making it big and unstable. This instability means that the forces holding the atoms together are thrown a little out of whack and aren't strong enough to hold it. Over time, the atom disintegrates, emits radiation, and sometimes splits in two. A fissile material, when plutonium-239 splits, it gives off energy and sets off a chain in reaction with the other atoms, causing your big atomic boom. The weapon grade stuff is made of 93% 239, while the stuff they use for powering nuclear plants is made of 53% 239. Ingestion and contamination of foods with plutonium-239 won't pose a threat to your average earthling. Plutonium-239 that's ingested isn't digested, meaning it won't hit your bloodstream. And as for contamination, enough safety measures are taken that the chances are minuscule. Now, when it's used to fuel nuclear plants, it's actually an offspring of uranium. Uranium goes through what's called beta decay, which is when a nucleus has too many neutrons, so one of the neutrons breaks off into an electron and a proton. The proton stays to the right and the electron flies off, thus a new isotope is formed. In a reactor, uranium-238 absorbs a neutron, becomes uranium-239, which then beta decays to neptunium-239, which then beta decays to plutonium-239, which can be used to power your very own nuclear reactor. Speaking of which, simply adding a small amount of plutonium-239 to reactor fuel limits or eliminates the need to enrich the uranium in the fuel. Plutonium is also a lot more concentrated than uranium-235, the other element used in atomic weaponry, meaning you need less plutonium to make a bigger boom. Plutonium-239 also has a lower risk of pre-ignition of bombs and is less expensive than other plutonium isotopes that can be used to power nuclear. Reactors The main safety concern of 239 is inhalation. If all the plutonium inhaled is an exhaled, it can become trapped in the lungs, and this could be a passageway to the blood or lymph system. From here, it can target your liver or lungs, remaining there and possibly causing cancer in later years. There's also the issue of waste. The nuclear waste associated with both weaponry and powering side of 239 needs to be stored very carefully. The storage of nuclear waste is risky and in the past hasn't panned out too well. This is a growing concern with all types of radioactive material. As you can see, the pros outweigh the cons. With the right safety precautions, there's no reason for plutonium to be exposed to humans in the first place, and its storage solutions are no worse than other radioactive waste. It's cheaper, more effective, and safer than other isotopes in radioactive material. Plutonium-239, a brighter future.